uh, is called a houch, which is another way to get yourself some head control and move us directly back into some of those uh, previous materials so you can see how this thing starts to, uh, wrapping back around uh, one another like a Mobius strip. For the houch, I've tried the snap a few times and he's not giving me more than uh, three or four inches. So what I will try on this, I'm gonna give a snap. Of course, we keep it this nice and loose, keeping his arm down so we can see what's going on. I give the snap. If I can get the snap, we know optimally, I like to get him snapped at least to chest level. Here, I've only been able to get a snap to around here, so I'm gonna let my chin take the place of my chest. My hand stays in play, the bone block with the vertical plane is in play, I put the chin on top as well. So I've got three points of contact, which isn't enough because we know Dan can still run out this side, so what I need to do is move my body to that side to cut it off. So we see we're talking about, if I snap, get him here and here, so I've got one, two, three. Dan's not going this way, he's not going back up, but nothing's stopping him from swinging out to that direction. So my body has to become that fourth point right here. So we can see I blocked down the downward angle with a hand and chin, I blocked out this side with this bone block, and I've got my shoulder in front of him in this direction. So we're going to snap to here and get in front of it. So up, maybe snap, get in front. Now we're gonna add one more piece on this. This hand that's hanging here dangling free is for a reason. It's gonna come around and add a fifth point of contact. It just wraps around on top of this hand. So we've had a bone block, chin, I mean a bone block, hand on top, chin on top, body on the other side of the head, stack the hands, and then I put the chin on top of that. Now this is a, a variant of the head, uh, head drag, head control position. Can you move around, Dan? Mm -hmm. I've got good control of my body hanging on tight. And from here, let's slide it back to something we know. Remember, we're gonna slide to the chin and we're right back into that bar and chantry position, which we've just been running. We're not gonna try and stay offensive at the, at the halch position. We're just using that as a clinch transition to move us back into something where we're more directly in front, get a nose on contact so we can go, uh, go to work with the striking control or uh, a little bit better work with some of our takedowns. But that's a lot of steps in that halch. Really works, trust me on this, guys. So work this several times. Snap's not working for me. Anything more than a chin level. Again, it's important, you don't go to head drags. We're talking about not rise up to it the same thing with the halch. If I can't get him down, I'm not gonna get on my tiptoes and try and drag him down here. Get a halch enough to make this come into play. Block with the body, stack the hands. From this side, please. Bring it in, upright. You can see you can get to this house position rather rapidly if you're willing to drill it again and again and again. And once you get to the house, you don't try and freeze it, you try and move directly from house into bar and chancery. So from that top to bottom, out directly into the bar and chancery. So you can start going back to work on your dirty boxing uh, or takedowns with that bar and chancery drop we showed you a little bit earlier. And again, we've talked about, I don't know why I need them on the right guys, but uh, uh, we're talking about trying to use one solid uh, Mobius strip here where we get that biceps right control. Then we move into the collar and elbow, trying to use any version of head snaps to get a little bit of, uh, better control. Because anytime a guy's nice and upright, we need to break him down with posture. It's just like being on the ground. If you're on your back playing your bottom scissors guard game, you want to break posture. Same thing here, thing here. The more I break his posture down, the better strikes I'm going to get off or the better possible takedowns I can set up. Now, if I've got a guy that I can't break down to a head control, head drag position, I've got a guy I can't even break down to a houch position, it means his posture's good, or he's a lot taller than I am, and Dan and I are both not on the tall side, but uh, he's got good posture, and if I can't get any breaking down on here, that usually means his posture is, means uh, he's keeping himself a little bit upright, and his hips are a little back, and then I've got a shot to start moving into for some go, uh, go behinds. 